What's up guys, Mike here with King of Avalon Follower doing another video. This one, I know it's coming late. This is gonna be a video about not only the Kingdom event, which is a few weeks old now, the Golem, but ultimately what is the best march formation that you can send. This is the only controlled environment where I can actually prove my hypothesis. So we start out here, you're just looking at the damage I'm doing, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna show you how I can systematically increase the amount of damage I do to this golem over time by tweaking the march, okay? So unlike the common theory, I'm sending all my highest damage doing troops right there, just bowmen and distance trebuchets. Uh, this video is a couple weeks old. Um, I didn't have all T9s yet. Now I do, and at the end, I'll show you what happens. So I sent the highest damage units, right? All bowmen and siege. So you would think, okay, 115,000, Bowmen and siege troops have the highest attack. That would do the most damage. That's not the case. Let's take a look. I actually dropped, I did 18,750. Now keep in mind, I'm actually a balance spec right now. Uh, so my damage is really low. When I end up doing war spec at the very end, a couple days later, I end up hitting for like 39,000 or something like that. So like 20,000 more. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's keep tweaking the march. So I'm just gonna sit here and play and we're gonna look at every formation. Uh, the moral of this video is that a mixed march is s unbelievably better than a non-mixed march. And what I mean by mixed march is sending a march that has some troops from every single tier, from T1 to T9 or T10 if you got them, um, is going to be significantly stronger. So right here, we're, I'm just taking a look at what's going to get sent. I'm, I'm, I'm playing inside of the... Uh, inside of the, the uh, what's this called? The parade grounds. Um, and I'm just kind of messing back and forth. I'm trying to see, do I want to send T8? Because right now, up until now, my the premise that I was always going off of was uh, send about 10% infantry for barbarians. That is 5 to 10% infantry, a large majority of bowmen, and uh, the rest cavalry. You know, maybe 60% bowmen, 30% cavalry, 10% infantry, and maybe a few siege in there. Uh, this completely rewrites everything I thought about what does the most damage. It does not change anything from my earlier video about in what order do troops die. So if you've watched my ultimate guide to troop formations video where it lines out uh, what type of infantry dies first and then bow or and then cavalry and then bowmen and then distant siege, that still stands. This, however, just simply shows how to do more damage and we're gonna get into the nitty gritty, okay? So again, mixed marches, you want a certain amount of every single type of tier, even T1s. So here, I've already done more damage than I did before, 19,920 and I'm gonna keep tweaking it. Now, there's something, uh, if you've ever heard the phrase, it's called diminishing returns. Uh, so essentially, if you send 100,000 T9 bowmen, it actually would do more damage if you sent 90,000 T9 bowmen and 10,000 T10, or excuse me, T8 bowmen. Um, even though the T8s are lower, the, there's a diminishing effect where when you continue to send more of a certain type of troop past a certain number, they don't do as much damage. And so you got to keep that in mind. Now, it's very difficult to figure out what that maximum is where you want to stop sending more of a certain type. Uh, boom, I've hit 20,970 now, just from, I'm up from 18,000 there. 21,180 is still my highest, so I'm trying to figure out how to arrange my march to get back to that number. So we're going to just keep on playing with it. And realistically, it, it's a couple more marches in where, where I really fine-tune it, and then at the very end, when I've actually done the Golem two or three times, uh, I really am hitting it home. So again, I've got 3,000 T9 infantry. I have yet to really send a whole bunch of my T8s yet, but I'm going to go ahead and just start uh, moving things around, trying to figure out what does the most damage. Uh, and a couple more tries is when I really start experimenting. And ultimately, what I end up going for now for my marches is I send between T1 and T6 troops I send 250 of everything, 250 T1 siege, cavalry, infantry, bowmen, 250 T2 siege, cavalry, infantry, bowmen, all the way up to T6. At T6, I send 500 of each. And then at T7, I have a, a kind of a different, a, excuse me, dif different layout. I still send only about 500 infantry, but I send a few thousand of the bowmen, I send a couple thousand of the siege, and then I send about 500 cavalry. 
Uh, and then at T8, I start to send a lot more. The T8, I'm still at like 25,000 bowmen, uh, 15,000 cavalry, 1,000, I think, infantry is what I'm on, 500 uh, siege. And then the rest, I max out with T9s. So again, you can see here, I'm starting to do mixed marches, combining T9 and T8. And again, this goes against what you would think would be an effective march because you would think that the higher troops you have, the stronger you're going to be. Or the higher troops that you have, um, just the stronger they will be because they've got higher attacks, higher defenses, and all of that kind of stuff. And that's where the diminishing uh, return effect comes in. The other good thing about a mixed march that I have talked about in past videos is obviously when you're attacking someone else's castle, um, if you have lower level troops in there, when you lose troops, you're more likely to lose your lower level troops than your higher level troops, so it's easier to build it back. Uh, and this, of course, now that I really know how effective a mixed march is, you know, when I, when I have attacked other castles using a mixed march, not only have I been able to wipe out twice as many troops as I sent, um, but, you know, I'm losing lower level, mar uh, lower level troops instead of my higher level troops, which is very nice. Uh, so 21,720, I think that was my new record right there. Let's take a quick look. 21,180, so yeah, 21,720, I'm now up 600 points. 600 damage points. And again, I verified this uh, using uh, uh, the portal. I've done, I hit for 25,000 on the portal for the first time ever. That was crazy. Um, and also I soloed a level 30 barb, did 100% of the damage. I had someone on their farm send just one single troop and I did 100% of the damage and killed a level 30 barbarian camp on my own. So again, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the number of bowmen because those are my highest, uh, the, the most amount that I was doing. I'm going to drop those bowmen down and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to send, let's throw some T6s out there. Let's see if this continues to boost up. And, and again, contrary to what you would think, well, I mean, you know, these T6s are way weaker. Well, I guess let's just see, you know, I mean, I really wasn't that concerned with the damage ranking for the golem and that's why I was able to do these experiments. Um, but ultimately just sending... A certain amount of every type is very beneficial, and I was really hesitant to send any T8 siege just because, or excuse me, any type of siege tower because they're just so, so painfully slow. But they make a difference; they increase your damage. So send them. We're gonna see what I hit, hit with this one. Again, the easiest way to get to the golem, you just hit that uh, event center, you boom, you hit the kingdom threat, and then boom, attack. It's gonna automatically transport you right to where the golem is. And then you'll be able to hit attack. You also get mail when the golem spawns. It's going to say uh, the kingdom is under attack. And you can just hit attack through the mail that you receive as well. Uh, if you haven't figured this out by this point, I know this video is a few weeks late. Um, I've been going through some personal things and, and been real busy at work and a bunch of other things. So I haven't really uploaded nearly as much as I was before. I'm sorry for that. And you can see right there, 22,800. So now I just jumped it up another 1,000 points just by sending in a, a, you know, a couple thousand T6s. 1,000 points by sending in a couple thousand T6s. That's a huge difference. So at this point, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm, I'm starting to figure out what's going on here. And I'm really just going to go crazy. I'm going to start sending everything. So we can see here, again, I'm dropping off of my Bowman. These are the most amount of troops I have were in my Bowman. Uh, both T9 and T8, and I'm just gonna start sending a little bit of everything. And for some reason, at my parade ground, every time I try to click the number, the where you can just enter in a number instead of use the slide tool, it won't let me select it. It's a pain in the neck. So I know I look like an amateur when it would be much easier to just click the little uh, tab over there and type in 250. I don't know what it is. I I don't know if it's because I'm recording and it kind of messes with uh, the way I can touch the screen. But either way. Bear with me, guys. I apologize. Uh, this is where I start going, you know, just 100 to 200 of every, everything I've got. Also, since I've made this video, I've made sure that I've gone back and trained, you know, trying to get to about 5,000 of every single tier type that there is. Because as you notice, some of them I only have like 90 of or 100, you know. I got a whole bunch of T1s because of Merlin's concern, <laughs> but... Um, you, you know, ultimately, I want to have a hefty amount of everything because when I do attack another individual, the troops I'm losing are my lower level troops, which is great. They're easier to train, a lot cheaper, but that means they're getting wiped out. And I got to train them back frequently. So I'm trying to build up a little basis, you know, 5,000 of every tier type that I can. Uh, and then having, of course, the majority of my uh, uh, 
power being from my T8s and T9s. All right, let's go ahead and attack this guy again. And again, guys, obviously I'm cutting and editing the video so you don't have to watch me march for three minutes. Um, I'm trying to cut it to where it's right as I land my attack. You may have to go back and, and pause if, I, if I'm going through this too quickly. I apologize for that. Um, but boom, we're going to hit the dude. And uh, we'll take a look at what that mail shows. And by the way, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have any thoughts on March formations or if you've seen anything. Post a picture, leave a video. Right there, boom, 23,640. We went up by almost another thousand. And this is just by filling in, uh, backfilling in with T1s through T5s or whatever I needed to still put in there. And I'm up another thousand points. So I heavily recommend go into your parade grounds preset a march the only difference i would say that i use between this march and when i'm actually attacking another player is i send more infantry so obviously right now i'm spec for balance because i'm trying to uh and here you can see me putting on the finally putting on some t8 um right now i'm spec for balance because i'm trying to grow uh you get more resources and of course you can train more troops when you're spec balance uh, but when you're spec war, you have additional people, or you have an additional cap on your march. It's like 10,000 more. Also, most people are going to use some sort of troop enhancing, uh, troop march size enhancing buff, um, in which case it's going to allow you to send an extra 10,000, 15,000, something like that. My recommendation would be to keep this exact same formation and all of those extra troops that you have either send as the large majority of them as infantry. Uh, and those infantry, of course, have the higher defense. And if you watch my other video, they're the first ones to die. They're going to protect your cavalry. They're going to protect your bowmen. So my recommendation is keep the march the same. You know you can hit hard once you get your march fine-tuned. And I do recommend practicing on the next golem. Um, once you get your march fine-tuned, go ahead and uh, save that march formation. And then save a battle formation next time you spec war. And make sure that you just have it with a bunch of extra infantry in there. See what we hit it for this time. 23,880. We bumped it up again just a little bit this time. Looks like we went up by 200 something points. Um, and right now I'm hitting about the max. I'm, I'm getting close to the top amount that I can do as balance spec without full T9s. I, I don't. I didn't at this point have my T9 siege, my war wolves trained yet, or uh, that building upgraded yet. Um, and so yeah, uh, I think I'm pretty sure I did throw a video on here where I am. You're gonna see my power jump from 37 million to like 40 million or something. Where I this a cut like a week later where I'm sitting here with full T9s. I've got my march totally refined. I'm spec war, so I'm sending you know an extra 11,000 troops or something. Uh, and you're going to be able to see me just really just whack this thing. So again, 23,880. That's what I'm hitting with as balance. And I believe this was actually the very first Golem event that there was. The very first one. Let's see what I hit for this time. Okay, 24,780. And again, all I'm doing is just playing around with the march. Up almost another thousand. And all I'm doing, it, literally, I'm going in there, I'm fine-tuning it, I'm trying to figure out. It, it may be different. You know, this march that works for me may be slightly different for you. I have Sir Agravin at three stars. He increases cavalry attack. Maybe you have Sir Saphir. Of course, I'm talking about heroes. Sir Saphir or Caradoc, that increases bowman attack. And maybe a little more bowman and a little less cavalry is what works for you. But you can see right here, uh, this is where I'm at 125,000. I've got a certain amount of every type of troop. My power's bumped up to 40 million. I'm hitting for 38,820. And again, I'm still every single march. I just I just tweak one tier. I subtract a thousand off of something and add a thousand something to just see if all of a sudden I hit some new trend where I recognize, oh wow, I jumped up another thousand. Let me try and apply this further. So we're just hitting. We're attacking the golem. Ultimately, guys, thanks for watching. I did rank 11. Subscribe if you want. Leave a comment below.